Come here, folks. Bob with Currency Waves. Gonna do a little uh, video on the RSI Relative Strength Index. I'm just going to be calling it Tips and Tricks for Trading the RSI by Currency Waves. Probably do uh, at least four videos. We're going to do divergence, trend lines, support and resistance, overbought and oversold. That way you can we can uh, keep the divergence all on one video. And if you want to go back to just to see the divergence, you don't have to go mess with the whole video to see it. So the first one we are going to do is the divergence. Divergence, bullish divergence occurs when price makes a lower close and the RSI makes a higher low. Okay, so we had a lower close. RSI made a higher low. Bearish divergence occurs when price makes a higher close and RSI makes a higher or lower high. So here price made a new high, RSI did not. A new closing high, I, I want to stress it is based on the close. And I also made a note down here, divergence is based on closing price, not the highs and lows. A lot of people will look at the highs and lows and try to say there's divergence and there's really not. It has to be, you have to look at the highs and the lows. The closes. The closes. Bullish hidden divergence is RSI makes a new low, but price does not. Okay. So here we kind of had a double bottom, just kind of a sideways move. RSI made a new low. Okay, and then the bear's hidden divergence. RSI makes a new high. Price does not. And here we have a new high in the RSI. A lower close in the... Uh, price and of course this is hidden divergence because a lot of people don't pay attention to it don't look at it all they look for is the bearish and bullish divergence they don't look for the hidden divergence and we're going to go to I've got a euro US dollar daily line on close chart and I've put together a bunch of examples here okay and here we have three new lows in price in close three bull closes and three higher RSIs and then away it went now I like to wait for the RSI to break the last high before getting in. So maybe here. The problem here, and this is hidden divergence, but it's not, I mean, it, it could be, it's not because it, the move actually isn't complete but you could have hidden divergence with a higher RSI lower price and here's a good example of that here again we have three higher closes in price three lower RSI peaks now here's an example. This is probably the one I showed in the uh, picture there, but price did not make a new low. RSI did. 
from this low here where this price closed on its low. So when that happens, you can usually expect another high or low. Now here, here's the low on the RSI, low in price. And price breaks this low, and the RSI is also at a new low. Okay. And again, one, two, three, lower closes. Okay, I'm trying to grab that. And three higher RSIs. Now, if we look here, here's that hidden divergence again. RSI made new highs, price did not. But on the next one, Okay. RSI did break out. Price did not until here. Okay. Hope that's making sense. Here we go again with some divergence. Higher close, lower RSI. And if we draw a little line here, there is no hidden divergence. This thing just breaks right down together. So, and here we can actually call this a nice little double top with divergence here. Tried to close higher, but did not. And again, three lower closes, three higher RSI. I don't really see, well, there is hidden divergence here, I guess, with this high. And the high of this RSI. So we broke out, didn't make it up to this high, new low. Now, <laughs> divergence isn't always in threes, but it seems like I've got a lot of them here in threes. Lower close, lower close, lower close, lower close, higher, higher RISI, if I can say that. Okay, and let's see what we got for a breakout. Let's go with this high and here. And here we have a nice little breakout above this high, and price also broke out at the same time and continued higher. Okay. Here's a little bullish hidden divergence. If you go across, if you do these a number of times and just grab a chart, put it on close or a line chart, and just keep drawing these, you will, they will just pop right out at you. here. Price did not even come close to this low. 
RSI broke the low. And I and we continue and here's another one i mean it, you can see them everywhere i'm just they're just popping out at me here if i could get a hold of this thing yeah rsi and price were holding along here rsi made a new low price did not Continues higher. Looks like we got a little bit of uh, divergence here with some lower closes, higher RSI, and we continue. And you can see price broke out ah. price and the RSI broke out nicely here and added higher and again divergence Okay, just total and again where was that now hidden divergence right here price did not make a new low RSI did ton of divergence there Price makes a new low, that makes another new low with the RSI, RS, excuse me, RSI. And you could even take a look at these two highs. Compare to these two highs. Divergence. Uh, it's been about 13 minutes. Um, I hope you understand what I'm looking at now. In divergence. Divergence. Do we have a breakout here? No, not really. I mean, pretty close, I guess. Divergence. Now, I'm going to slide this together, tighten this up again. So, okay, and these are all the ones we went over here. Divergence for a little pop. Divergence for a little pop higher. Before moving lower. And now you can also see the divergence between these two lows here and here. And when it happens above the 30 or below the 70, it seems to have a lot better effect or, you know, they, they work better. Okay, it's like this one. There's a nice little divergence here in the down. Whoops, that wasn't divergence. That's uh, hidden hidden divergence. I was looking for bullish. I had a uh, here it is, right here. We're in a downtrend. You get an A B C up. Look at the RSI. And kaboom. 
Okay, here's one of those hidden divergence with the higher RSI. Lower price, back down again. Another one here. RSI come crashing down. Price held this low. Some hidden divergence here. Higher RSI, lower close on the price. Like I say, we can go through these all day long. Here's a nice one here. Got a higher RSI, lower price. Boom. Higher RSI, lower close. Continues down. So. And here's a situation here in the current market where it may be happening again. We have a higher RSI, but lower price. If we put this here, and here's the RSI for that. Hi. So, okay, 16 minutes. Hope, uh, hope that helps you. If, uh, if you like the video, you think it's helpful, please pass it on. Hit the like button. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. All right. Thanks for listening.